But first at 10, she was raped by her middle school teacher. And now her family is taking legal action to make sure something like this never happens again. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. A lawsuit filed by the young girl's family says the school district didn't adequately look into the teacher's background and didn't take complaints seriously. Well, Fox Eyes Denise Dillon tells us more about what happened. The teacher worked here at the Fulton Academy of Science and Technology. The teacher is now in prison, and the family of the girl he raped says he never should have been in the classroom. He is now serving a 10-year prison sentence for raping a 7th grade girl in his classroom during recess. The girl's family has now filed a lawsuit saying the school did not do a thorough background check before hiring Vandal. The lawsuit states that in Vandal's file with the Georgia Professional Standards Commission, at least seven students and 14 teachers presented written complaints against Vandal for grooming, sexual harassment, and sexual assault at previous schools where Vandal worked over 20 years. State records show the commission previously suspended his teaching license twice before he was hired at FAST. Had FAST done an adequate background check or paid attention to a background check, they could have discovered it. While working at FAST, according to the lawsuit, at least six complaints were filed against Vandal there. He was a sexual predator uh, with a long history, a long documented history, uh, who was essentially using the school as his grooming ground uh, and ultimately uh, committed a, a heinous crime with a little girl. The family wants to see a change in how teachers are hired and retained, including more thorough background checks. A big part of what the family is hoping to achieve with the lawsuit is to change how these things are done so that what happened to their little girl and the nightmare that they're still experiencing from it doesn't happen again in Fulton County. The lawsuit names FAST, the Fulton County School District, and a number of school officials. The district has sent a statement that reads, FAST creates and implements its own personnel policies and hires, vets, and manages its staff independently. In Fulton County, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News. Denise, thanks. So